A local mother came to Team 10 claiming some local discount stores were selling crack pipes. Now, we broke the story at 5 when Team 10 showed you how easy it was for adults to buy the pipes. But new tonight, Team 10 troubleshooter Kristen Severance reveals what's even more shocking about the customers being sold these pipes. 15-year-old Lynn Long and 17-year-old Anthony Romero walked into the V Outlet discount store in Hillcrest. Both are baby-faced and wearing backpacks. We sent them in with their parents' permission. They walked out a few minutes later with a crack pipe. It was as easy as buying this candy. The teenagers are part of the Latino Youth Council, an anti-drug group. We told them what to ask for. I asked for an oil burner. It was under the counter, and it's in a black bag. She put it in the bag quickly, and she took our money and we walked out. I feel like they, they don't even care. It's just like very casual and they saw us with our backpack so they know we're students. It's illegal for these stores to sell drug paraphernalia under the California Health and Safety Code. But Team 10 bought crack pipes at V Outlet stores in the Gas Lamp, Claremont and Pacific Beach. I was sold one at the Hillcrest location. I called the Hillcrest store twice Monday looking for the owner. I told the woman on the phone we were doing a story on V Outlet. Then I went to the store to find the owner. Every store we went to, we were sold crack pipes. The clerk told me to check under the register for myself. Conveniently, after my phone calls, there were no pipes to be found. We asked for an oil burner. They pulled this from under the counter and sold it to us. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't say nothing. The city cracked down on the sale of crack and meth pipes at stores in 2007. After a two-year investigation, two shop owners were convicted. The Palavera Treatment Center worked with the city to bring down the stores. The stores need to be penalized. They need to be shut down. We need to go back to what we did in 2007. The teenagers weren't part of the first fight, but will join the second round. This is real. This is happening, and we should stop it. I still haven't heard from the owner of the outlet, but I'm told the owner has my number, so I'm waiting on that call. Next, we're going to tell authorities about the crack pipes and ask them what they're going to do about this. I'm Team 10 troubleshooter Kristen Severance. You can bet this isn't over. Team 10 will be staying on top of this story. Kristen has already reached out to authorities and will have an update on what's being done tomorrow on 10 News at 5. All right.